This is a cell. It has multiple functions based on the proteins that are in the membrane. Uh, some proteins are receptors for receiving chemical signal information. That's number one on this slide. Some of the proteins are required in, say, an amoeboid cell to get movement and enlargement of a cell and to change its shape. And there are proteins which are involved in either import or export of molecules. Here, in this kind of cell, you might expect to find such proteins pretty well evenly diffused around the surface of, of the cell membrane. But different regions of the cell membrane can have different functions, including recognizing molecules on the external environment. They can recognize other cells. And if they do that, they can know which cells to associate with to form tissues. This is an epithelial layer that might line your gut. Such epithelial cells are actually divided into membrane domains so that certain proteins are found only in one region of the membrane and other proteins in other regions. Proteins that are on the apical side of the epithelial layer interact with circulating hormone and nutrients. Proteins on the cell surface on that side would be designed to recognize hormones or recognize nutrients and know to bind them and take them up. The membranes of adjacent cells in this layer would have different proteins that are there to enable the cells to communicate or to stick together as in the example of tight junction. Proteins participate in actually holding cells together and obviously that's a, a domain of membranes as well. And finally on the bottom side the cells of an epithelial layer are actually attached to something generically called the basal lamina and obviously different proteins are required to affect that attachment. So. Different proteins in membranes can be confined to different regions, in part by how the cells interact with one another and create barriers to the movement of these proteins. So a tight junction is a barrier to the movement of the proteins. So the right proteins are placed in the right location on membranes.